What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some more Mono Green Tron. First actual match in the new year. I've been playing, putting some old videos up, so we'll go ahead and take the play here. And that's Tron in hand. Okay, yeah, we'll keep that. Oh, almost didn't recognize it because that power plant was tucked away in the corner there. It was like two mines and a tower. Yeah, but nope, it's Tron. So I think I'm going to start off with a power plant, yep, just because I have two mines and it doesn't really matter, but some people get in the mindset that the one people play first is the one they're more likely to have two of, so you can sometimes get them to pick the other one by playing it second, but it's, it's really arbitrary, so in this case it doesn't really matter. Misty Rainforest, alright, if I had to bet, I'm playing an Oko deck. Leaning towards a turn 5 Ulamog right now, not the best. Alright, bet something. Not Bant. Uh, four color. Four color creature build. Four color. Okay. Some kind of mill deck? Self mill? Um. Mainboard grinding station. Mm. So, choices ancient stirrings. Well, let's go for the walking ballista. He didn't tap it in the first place, so a little bit of benefit there. Alright, there's an Emery, so maybe it is an Urza build. Yeah, definitely leaning towards an Urza build here. Yeah, it's a free mana next turn. Yeah, if he doesn't block, we're going to get rid of this thing. Is the grinding station just there so we could dig for things to get out with the Emery? Or, okay, was expecting this. All right.
He has three legendary, I believe, so. Is he going to... no. Some kind of... is this legendary tribal, maybe? With artifacts? It has a strong focus on graveyard recursion. We're going to blow the S down. Should be it. We're going to take him. Yeah, okay. That was going to be very hard for him to come back from. Weird build. Um, I focus on the graveyard. Not really set up to deal with that with this build. Some focus on artifacts and legendaries. So eh, I still like the dismembers. Maybe a few nature's claims over. Ugin and a warm coil engine. Give that a try. Good possibility he brought in dampening sphere here. Uh, this is, yeah, this is definitely, this is what I thought the last hand was. I'll mulligan that and hope for better. E nope. <sighs> Go on, yeah, more. Okay, this has a lot of draw on it. Very repetitive hand here. There's the Emery. See what he gets in his graveyard. All right, bad turn three Tron, but at least I'll be able to play out no stone. Yep, get back the Mox Amber, puts you to four mana. Should have a decent play this turn because most of these decks, I think, function around four to five mana. Yeah, there's five. What big threat does he have in hand? Is this a dampening sphere for two? No, it's an Oko. Oh. Oko. Well, I'm getting a 3 3 beast. Yep. Yeah, I think I need to start swinging at the Oko. It's going to get a little dangerous here in a second. I 
Yeah, I should have saw Oko coming, but hmm. Oh well. All right, going defensive. Ooh, sweet lucky draws. What do we want here? Pithing Needle is a permanent shutdown, but I think I want the liquid metal coating. And we're going to keep that Oko from activating next turn. All right, that swung pretty heavily in our favor, I think. Never mind. He had tricks up his sleeve. Although I doubt that's the target he wanted to hit with that. The good news is we at least have Ugin next turn because of that, Oops, which is nice. He's down to two cards in hand, no artifacts in the graveyard, yeah. Yep. I'll take some damage. Actually... I lose this anyway. Helpful. Oops. Two cards in hand. I'm betting he doesn't have the counter spell. Alright, he doesn't. Minus three, I believe. Yep. A bad play on my part blocking, because uh, he got the Mox Amber back. But it's a minor misplay. I'm not going to attack with a walking ballista just in case I need it to defend, but I don't think I will. That's two islands. I am keeping track of the number of islands he plays just in case he has that one land that will let him go get one, that Assassin's Trophy back, uh, Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, he's at two right now, so it wouldn't be effective as of yet, but you got to keep an eye out on for it. All right, I'm fine that with that being bounced to my hand. So the play right now will be to Alright. 
kill this because it's the biggest threat. Get rid of that. Run out no stone. And at this point I'll go ahead and start swinging in for one. Slowly pinging him down. With Ugin and Karn out in the field, I think this is going to be a very hard recovery for, for him. I met. Gonna have to try and look up this deck. I'm at. It's a definitely an Oko build, but it's not one I'm really familiar with. Alright, so he's gonna get some of his legendaries back this turn. I don't think any of them have haste. So what's he get back here? Legendary Planeswalker, all right. Going to return the O-Stone to my hand. Play an Oko. Well, I'm definitely minusing Ugin for three. Okay, he's going to deal three damage to Ugin. Uh, yep. Oh, he's going to kill Karn? All right. Well, I'll get him for two. And hold this dismember up for whatever creature he's about to play. Alright, he's going to scoop up to that. That, that was his only trick. Yeah, he, he would have done better to have killed the Ugin there. Karn would have gotten rid of one thing. I guess I was clearing the board with the O-Stone, but it would would have left me without much left, so we both would have had to stock up. Um, he has an interesting build. I don't think it's... I could be completely wrong on this, because I haven't played much during the holidays, but I don't think this is a common build. Um, taking advantage of trying to recur Planeswalkers and Legendaries from the Graveyard, I meant somewhat effective, especially with cards like Emery being able to put them in there, but um, this didn't have the strength. The Assassin's Trophies is the answers to Tron, too. I meant... Yeah, granted, he got rid of uh, one of my threats, which was decent for him, but he had to use it on threat, not Tron, so, uh, you know, an earlier play of that would have been good. Uh, I had to get lucky here, though, and draw the Tron land. Oko can definitely shut down my expedition maps, which is never fun. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a happy 2020. This is Tectonic Edge, signing out.